I have not had a day like this in a very, very long time. Oh! Good morning, guys. It is Easter Monday. Happy Easter, everyone. I hope you had a great Easter and didn't uh, fill yourself with too many chocolates. We're actually in the warehouse today because we want to get our orders picked for tomorrow so that tomorrow isn't such a crazy day. Anytime we have a long weekend, those sales do start to bank up. So today we're in the warehouse and we're going to pick all that stuff and we're going to give you guys a little bit of an insight into what a week with us is actually like because I think it's really important to show the ins and outs of this reselling business at this sort of scale. So Jazz is going to pick some of last week's sales and she's going to give you a little bit of a stat breakdown. We've got stats. This has been four days of sales. Yeah, four days of sales by now. And I thought it was interesting to see which categories are selling. So today I'm going to be picking 38 items of clothing, 16 books, 10 pairs of shoes, three toys, five CDs, and then a bunch of miscellaneous, so three video games, two electronics, there's like a console, a handheld and a mouse, um, some hiking gear, three pieces of hiking gear, so that's like your backpacks, and one VHS and one tarot card deck. So that's kind of our main store sales for the weekend. It was like a, probably an average weekend, maybe a little bit quieter than normal. I think there's like about 80 on the main store and about 20 on the DVD store and done on the new store which is disappointing but like we said in the last episode we haven't really list too much on that store over the last week uh we did get some stuff on friday which i'll show you guys further into this video because there's some crazy stuff that we just picked up so hopefully sales will return on that store pretty soon so we're going to get into packing that stuff we might show you guys a few highlights and a few sales from the weekend and just show you what we've been selling lately guys i've picked out some of these dvd sales they're not all the most expensive ones just some ones here that are interesting or there's a little bit of a story behind them and then a couple of the higher-end sales that we did get from the weekend so the first one here was this john wayne uh, collection set i thought this would have sold faster but we ended up selling this for 59.95 which is nice to get that out the door that will probably have to go in a box because of the size of it so that's probably going to cost us about 15 to 18 dollars to ship next up is the vision of escape flown which is like an anime series a set of nine so that probably will end up just squeezing into a small sometimes they do sometimes they don't depending on the thickness of the dvds uh we ended up selling it for 44.95 we love looking out for anime stuff so i thought i'd highlight that one to you guys here's a cool little one this little power ranger set it is new and sealed which is really nice uh, it is the complete series and that's over 89.95 so that's probably one to keep an eye out for when you're out there obviously being sealed added a few dollars to this but we have sold it before unsealed and it still went some for some pretty decent money next up just season 10 of the bill sold for 68 dollars which was nice uh, part one and two we ended up getting not quite a complete run of the bill which is why we split it up into series and we probably actually made more money splitting it up like this than we would have if we tried to sell it in the parts that we did have all together so happy to get another bill out the door here's an interesting little bundle set and this is probably one of the advantages of running a bit of a niche store is that people can come in and bundle stuff up and you save a bit on postage so we ended up selling all of these dvds and blu-rays for 104 dollars 85 across a lot uh, so we sold this set of jj abrams blu-rays they were in that set we sold this set of three dvds these are all new and sealed there's like a police academy in there um, there's Smokey and the Bandit, uh, Memphis Belt, so yeah, nice little set. And they also took this set of six like space alien type movies. You've got Cowboys vs. Aliens, Paul, Star Trek, Lost in Space, Independence Day. So yeah, they bundled that up for 104.85, which is definitely that advantage of having a niche store. And here's one for you guys, and I want you guys to put in the comments if you remember this as Berenstein Bears or Berenstain Bears, because this is like one of those Mandela effect things where when you're a kid, you swore that these were Berenstein, but they're actually Berenstein bears. Now this sold for $44.95, so not a huge amount of money, but it's one of those nostalgic things that do sell reasonably quickly. And having that little bit of interest behind what it was called versus what it is now definitely probably spurs it along a little bit so that's a bit of a cross section of our sales on that dvd store for the last four days um so not huge volume but there is some nice titles there that definitely pump through and we have a bunch more there of sort of 30-ish to 40 dollar sales that keep that store ticking now we haven't had a lot of dvds coming in lately so we again haven't been listing a lot on that store and that seems to be a bit of a common theme we always try and keep the main store pumping through and these second stores sort of get drip fed when we have the stock obviously we would like to be a lot more consistent on that so the sales are more consistent as well 
So I'm gonna get to packing them just in a second, but I just wanna head down to Jazz down here and see if she has anything to show off from her picking haul so far. I'm not actually that far in, but check out one of our little miscellaneous items, which was actually this Pokeball Edition 2DS. We had this up for like $450 and someone used our 15% off coupon to get it for like $380 and it's actually got the Pokemon game inserted in there. So I was pretty excited about that one. That's fun. Also, we've sold my personal set of Lord of the Rings uh, straight off of my bookshelf for like $49.95 because we are whittling down our personal items. Can't take everything in a van. I'm gonna keep picking, but if I find something else to tell you about, I'll be back. Alright, I've completed the shipping for the packaging for the DVD store. We'll print labels tomorrow morning and get that all out. Hopefully a couple more sales come through. In the meantime, while Jazz is still picking that main store stuff, and before we show you some more things, I need to start sorting this stuff out. So last week we had a massive sorting week, and as you can see, it pretty much looks like a bomb has gone off in here. So we have all this stock here that's just came in last week. Usually it wouldn't be that bad and it'd be sorted, but we did have to dump and run because we had another pickup to do. And then if we come right up the front, this is definitely the worst this section has ever been. So this stock here is all stuff that we generally send to auction and we haven't been able to get stuff through auction for the last two auctions, so a month. So generally there'll be one pallet here and currently there's about three. So hopefully this week we can get that out. I definitely want to get this stuff all sorted and categorized so that um, when Amber comes in tomorrow, she can get straight into clothing and maybe I'll do shoes today and get this place looking somewhat clean. It's kind of been a bit of a bomb site since we pulled all the stock from Cara's store and removed it all. We just haven't really got back to a comfortable normal. So hopefully we can get a bit of that done today because we don't have that like pressure of getting the postage out today that we would normally have. So I've just dragged a couple empty tubs down here so that I can actually just put them into categories. So that one up there is probably clothing then shoes and then probably this one here is going to be like books and miscellaneous so i might actually need a couple more boxes but i'm going to start with that i'll probably put you guys up on a bit of a time lapse get this stuff started to be sorted so that tomorrow we are back at square one and aren't chasing our tail for the rest of the week okay you guys could see this is already looking so much better i still have to sort some dvds on that back side but i've got all my clothes together so i've got jackets and tees in here i've got jeans down there ready to go all my shoes are just here and then a couple miscellaneous boxes here as well. I'm probably going to tidy up this little workspace as well just to make that super clean. I actually need to get these authenticated by Check Check because these could potentially be very expensive Nikes. I think they're like supposed to be the Travis Scott version but I'm not confident that they're real so I actually haven't paid for these yet. One of our contacts found these and I was like mm, I'm not sure they're real so I'll get them authenticated before I pay you because if they are real they could be worth quite a lot of money so I'll probably get that done today clean this up I've got a whole bunch of um, cameras here that need some testing so I'll see if I have all the right uh, charges and batteries for those as well but that's already looking substantially better than it did 10 minutes ago all right I'm happy with this one because I only bought this pair of Sorel last week at Salvos for $25 I'm pretty sure they've never been worn and they just sold for $129. Also, we have a cool bundle. All of these books are going to the same person. They're a repeat customer and they buy all sorts of pop culture things. But in here we have like Fallout 4 strategy guide book and then healing with plants and then like a vintage McDonald's book, whole mixture. But we're gonna pack that up really nicely so they just keep coming back. One of the other little categories that I mentioned was hiking gear. And what I mean is things like the hydration packs, rucksacks, um, we're still even selling like winter jackets. It all adds up. So I'm just gonna try and get these shoes authenticated. We use Check Check for all of our shoes that we are unsure about. They have quite a range in there and they're quite cheap for what you're actually getting out of them. So what you need to do is you jump on the Check Check app all you need to do is take a few photos, categorize the item that you're actually trying to find out, and they will get back to you within a specified time frame. So you can sort of select a few different options. Obviously, the quicker you want it done, the more it's going to cost you. 
So I've just done one right now on about a 15 minute time frame, and it's at like $6, which is extremely affordable for what it actually is. And all you need to do is take a few photos. So I actually just got that straight back, which was super quick and it has come back as not passed. So glad that we checked that and we haven't paid for them, which is why with these higher end shoes, it's definitely worth doing your research first because if we, if we had paid up for those and threw them up on eBay, we probably would have got a Vero and that definitely would have affected our account. So I would definitely recommend using Check Check. We're not sponsored by them or anything like that, but they literally probably just saved our eBay account. I kind of had a feeling going into that that they were probably going to be fake, which is why I hadn't paid for them yet. I will just take them back to where I picked them up from. And because we are regular buyers from there, um, that's not going to be a problem at all. I did kind of think that they were going to be fake just based on the quality. The quality of the materials was just a little bit off, a little bit lighter, a little bit kind of funny feeling when you handle a lot of Nikes you can kind of pick up on these things and the tags are slightly off as well so I definitely wanted to double check because if they were real they would have been like four five hundred dollar shoes but as I thought they are fake Tuesday and we have our awesome staff member Amber with us today so we have Amber seven and a half hours a week which really helps us out I'm trying to keep this thing going we're going to pick some DVD orders to add to the pile we did yesterday and obviously the main store so I think the main store did about 91 over the weekend and then the DVD store about 18 or 19 I think in the end uh, I don't think we had anything on the new store so what's that about 110 items across the weekend which is not too bad I would have liked a few more yesterday was quite quiet I think that's probably because a lot of people coming back from their Easter holidays so we will pick those items get that stuff shipped and then get onto listing today all right for extra ones going out today without a trace sold for $69.95 so that's a pretty nice little TV set we sold the lost set for $50 posted the Undertaker the collection that one is new and sealed for $59.95 and just an All Saints 2003 for 24 bucks today I'm going to be focusing on getting some of this stuff here ready for auction they have let us know that they can fit one small trolley in this week so I'm going to try and maximize as much as we can get in so we can clear out some of this massive mess that is taking up this whole front section. As I said, it's been probably over a month since we've been able to put stuff through there, so it has piled up pretty quickly. So I'm gonna sort that stuff out now and get it ready to take there tomorrow. All right, it's starting to look a little bit better in here. It still is pretty messy, but I have cleared out one full pallet that we can take up to auction. So just up the back here is the pallet that will go to auction probably tomorrow. Um, so hopefully they can fit all that stuff into the auction for us, clear all that out. Um, with this sort of stuff, this is stuff that we purchased in bulk and doesn't really quite fit our metrics for eBay But does turn quite reasonably at those auctions So it's definitely worth us like picking up in those bulk lots Jazzy's just currently up the back there taking a few last photos It's about 1.32 o'clock So I'm thinking we might sneak in a bit of a savers run this afternoon And see if we can find anything for trash to travel What do you think about a post Easter savers trip? Yes, I want to go to savers I've been photographing overalls Boiler suits, snow suits, it's like aerobic photography up in here. I deserve a savers trip. I haven't seen much yet, have you? Um, some wrestling shoes, but I have no idea if that's a brand or not. Yeah, I feel like they haven't like restocked yet. It feels kind yeah. of empty, so. Everything feels like it's just been condensed and it's like a bit empty shelves. Mm, they might have to come back tomorrow. Had a pretty good look and I couldn't find anything. All of the racks have just been rearranged, so I think first of the month they've just done like a seasonal change. So there's just been rearranging and not actual stock coming out. Well, nothing in there today for us, which I guess is kind of the reality of thrifting. Some days you're going to hit it really big. Other days like today, you're going to get nothing at all. And I think being the Easter long weekend, they haven't had time to restock just yet. It should get good pretty soon though, and I think it's a better use of our time to just leave today and come back. <laughs> yeah, I think tomorrow or maybe Thursday might be a better option for us here at Savers. So we're probably gonna call it quits today, but we'll try again later in the week. All right, Savers take two. We're at TTP this time, so hopefully we'll find some stuff here. I tell you what, it's a good thing we already <laughs> restocked today. Yeah, it's been uh, quite slim pickings at Savers the last few days, but hopefully they're starting to restock now. These are interesting, they're like, Doc Martens, but they're called Treadairs, and I just looked at comps and I think they're pretty good. That's something I have never seen before, but how cool! <laughs> okay, it's really sad, but I think we actually have to put them back because they're pretty damaged in there, and I know that's hard to see, but they are damaged, and it's a bit tricky to find the size. I'm not actually sure what size they are, but we can put it down to a learning experience, and we are looking out now for Treadair. 
Well, that's literally two days in a row we've struck out at Savers, which is pretty unusual for us. We usually find something, but maybe we haven't been patient enough for them to get some donations out after Easter. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think that we've jumped the gun a little bit and they've not been putting stuff out and we're ready for it. But it's just like those quick wins that we're missing out on because we have been working on the business and making some really good leads and networking, but we're going to have to wait for the uh, payoff for that. So. What yeah. do you do? And I suppose that's like the reality of this job is sometimes when you're going to op shops like that, you're not always going to hit. So we might go to four or five op shops and you guys only might see one or two where we've actually found some stuff. So it's a good lesson about what we actually do. You're not always going to be out there finding gems all the time. It's not all instant gratification, but I feel like we've still made good headway this week. Good morning, guys. It is now Wednesday and we're in the warehouse. Today we have obviously all the packaging to do. Uh, Amber got us ahead in drafts yesterday, so we'll only have to do a few drafts. I do have a couple pickups to go to. Unfortunately, I can't take you guys along to those ones because they are our regular contacts. But while I'm going to do that, I'm going to take you back to some footage from Thursday where we went to Savers and we scored massively. So check this out. We've had a deal to pick up almost every day this week, but we have not been out to find anything for trash to travel. So I really hope we find something in here. Uh, don't mind if I do. 24 bucks. I've never heard of this brand before, but I just looked up comps and it looks crazy. It's like sidewalk made in USA. There's comps similar to this for like a couple hundred bucks. Unfortunately, they are peeling it for no way. Check this out guys, Sydney 2000 RM Williams moleskins, new with tags. 18 bucks. I cannot believe I just found this. Another bang. Swan Drive, 1549. Today is crazy, guys. Check this out. Tom's. You almost didn't come today, and I'm so glad we did because I have not had a day like this in a very, very long time. Those Tom's are awesome. But I still can't believe that Aaron Williams, Sydney 2005, is just blowing my mind. Okay, you show me what you've got and then I'll show you what I've got. Well, you're looking pretty smug, but I've got another Kathmandu Gore-Tex. We found one just like this the other week and it's gone already. So I'm pretty confident paying that price again. And I've got a little deciduous top. Uh, I will have to hold out for $30 plus post on that, but I think it's fine. And a new brand to me, it's called Luby's Story. And that's only priced at $6.99. All right, do you want to go through mine and you, I want to see what you think is the best item. I'll, okay. I'll hold those for you. Brad's got a pair of Toms. Eh, they're new. Eh. That's not even the best bit. The Swan Dry isn't the best item. No. no. I'll keep digging then. That. Oh! Vintage RM Williams Olympics. Yeah. Well done. That's, yeah, you win today. That's you insane. win. insane. Oh my God, Brad. What's that? Ticket off another black milk that I've never found before. I've never seen this print, but yeah, it's a black milk for 11.80. That was the best savers trip we have had in a very, very long time. To that find, feels good. That's a good end to the week. To find not only Iron Williams, but Swan Dry, Jazzy got Glow in the Dark. Excuse me, Glow in the Dark black milk. That's crazy. And all of this can go to Trash to Trap. So we ended up getting nine items for $121, which, <laughs> I mean, it is quite high per item, but for the stuff we got, I think we did very well. It's good stuff. We did forget to show one of the items, and it's this Rip Curl wetsuit. $13 mark. We got a little bit of a discount because we did have 20% off on our first $100. So we've just got back from the pickups. Jazz is just finishing up a couple extra photos for the main store. And then we're probably gonna go back out hunting again. So that's the constant battle that we're in is shipping, listing, and then trying to find more stock to ship and list. So it's a constant battle as an eBay reseller of trying to find the stock. Luckily, we are starting to build out more and more contacts every day which helps us ongoing uh, in that we don't have to be out as much as we can be in here and getting stuff done. And obviously having Amber at those two days a week for a couple hours each day definitely helps us maintain what we need to be doing. I can show you guys how much we've been turning over in the last sort of 
three months um, since a lot of these changes have happened. So we have updated our little goals board over here. Um, you guys might remember this from way back in the day. So we have updated this now to reflect our needed figures now that there's myself, Jazz, and Amber here. And we essentially need to be making around $10,000 every week to pay for all our bills, maintain the pays that we're paying ourselves and to keep stuff moving. And the last few weeks have been going quite well. Last week we did $14,000. There is some excess in that, in that we took us some stuff to auction and we also wholesaled some stuff. So that's probably not reflective of what we're doing on a week to week basis now, especially now that we've lost one of those main stores. But as you can see over the last three months, we have been maintaining around a $50,000 monthly figure, which is quite good considering the amount of changes we've had in the business. So it has been an interesting three months. It's gonna be a very interesting next three months to see, to see how things evolve, because we are starting to put things into place to not remove ourselves from the business, but to essentially allow us to go on the road and change how much of this business we're actually managing. And just quickly on this, this is a revenue figure, not the money that we put back in our pocket. I think our net profit at the moment is sitting about 31%, which I'm pretty happy with considering that our overhead percentage has increased compared to our turnover because of those changes in our business. So when you're seeing these numbers, this is not money that we're putting in our bank account, but it is a good indication on where our business is headed. Hey guys, it is now Thursday and we're a bit late to the warehouse today because we had to do some organizing for a new contact and uh, Jazzy's now having breakfast. Absolute shambles, we just go with it. <laughs> it feels a bit weird to be in here a bit late today. I feel a little bit discombobulated, but <laughs> essentially today we're just gonna get through some listing. We have some tidy up to do. I have all these books to get out of the way. That front area is looking a lot better, which is nice. And we also have a few announcements. So we are going to Retail Fest like you guys probably would have seen on Instagram. And we're giving away two tickets, so we will announce those probably later today. Um, so good luck to everyone that has gone into that draw. I really hope to see you guys there. And further to that, we are now hiring a second staff member as of the weekend, I believe. So we finally found a photographer, which is gonna take some uh, work off of Jazzy's plate, which I'm yes, sure she's stoked we're about. we're building an A-team. So yeah, our goal is to start building these sorts of processes that allow us to continue building the contacts, to grow the business, and free us up from actually working a lot in the business, which has probably been the last, well, six, seven years. Seven years. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that goes well. We'll update you guys as soon as we can on that situation. We have Amber smashing out some drafts over there for us, like an absolute legend every single Boss. Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, we are going to get posting, and then we'll probably catch up mm. with you guys later today. I haven't started the post. Okay guys, it's like 1.50 on Thursday and we're pretty much done in the warehouse. And when I say done, I feel like that's a very subjective word when you're a reseller. We're done what we need to do, but the job of a reseller is never done. So we've got our drafts ready. Jazzy's got photos for that. Thanks to Amber for smashing out some drafts this morning for us. And now we're going to head to another local pickup. Now we probably can't take you inside for this one, but I think we'll be able to show you at the end if we do pick anything up. So we'll head there now and see what we find. And we have to drop off today's post at the post office as well. So let's G-O, G-G-O. All right, guys, we've secured that deal. Thanks so much to Nat and big shout out to Jaden for hooking us up with that. I don't know if you guys remember, but we actually caught up with Jaden, I don't know, probably six months ago now at Savers and did a little bit of a thrift along with Jaden. So that was really cool. Uh, we got some pretty cool items. We'll show you guys when we're back in the warehouse, probably tomorrow. But yeah, happy with that little deal, little local pickup there, and we got to meet a pretty awesome dog. Oh yeah, I've been waiting a long time to meet Bo. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna head home today. It's almost what three thirty. It's gonna be four o'clock by the time we get home. Send some listings live, and then probably relax for the rest of the afternoon. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow. Friday now, and I'm gonna run you through what we picked up yesterday from Nat. Uh, we got some. Almanac books, they are Keith Martin. Um, these aren't anything special, but we just grabbed them at the end of the deal to wrap it up. Uh, we've got some nice pair of Nike Harachis. Um, Harachis do okay, they're not as popular as they were probably a couple years ago. So we've got those. We've got a couple nice Oraton shoulder bags. Um, pretty good condition, leather, which is nice. There's another one here as well. A little bit of a carry bag, that one. We got a couple pairs of shoes, just these pair of New Balance. I think these were Fresh Foam 628s or something like that. 860s apparently, so that'll do all right. These are a brand new pair of Roxy 
boots um, tagged at 189.95 new with tags which is nice they should sell pretty decently I actually had a look at comps and I was quite surprised how well these actually sell so happy with that got a little nice pair of Nike Air Maxes uh, it is a size 7.5 so seven and a half They'll probably take a little bit longer because of the size, but it is a nice pattern, which should go pretty well. We got a couple other little bags. Uh, this one here is a Coccinelli. I don't even know how to say that. These comps were all over the place, anywhere from like 30 up to a couple hundred. So really dependent on the bag. And um, this is a nice leather over the shoulder bag, um, sling bag, if you want to call it that. So happy with that one. And then just this one here as well, which is another nice little um, handbag, genuine leather, green, pretty good condition. I can't even remember the brand on it. It's Conjura. So there's a couple bag brands there that we're not really familiar with. We did want to try and buy as much as we could. Nat reached out to us and said she had some stuff that she was looking to sell. So we grabbed as much as we possibly could. And I think we ended up spending about $200 twenty dollars i think it was was it something like that jazz yeah something like that we also did get a really lovely guest sweater that had mohair oh, yeah <laughs> yeah definitely happy with that so some interesting items here not a lot of stuff that we normally pick up but happy to make some money there'll be a little bit there for us and we actually have a sale on the new store so we'll pick that in a second as well oh, and i forgot to mention this we did get this anello bag and a whole bunch of dvds most of them are like these andromeda i think there's a full season there and there's some like space movies and nasa files so overall i think we're pretty happy with that what do you think jazz very happy especially since we got to pat the popo Alrighty, our sale for trash to travel that's going out today is this rm williams belt and it's sold for 65 dollars plus post on an offer that might help to replace some of the money that we just spent on new stock this week. We only have one more of those belts listed. All right, it's been a busy, busy week, but we mustn't forget to do our weekly wrap up. This episode, we started with $1,040.09 in our trash to travel kitty, and then we spent $121 on new stock. We did have our belt sale, and after all of the fees and shipping on that one, we made $55.61, leaving us with a new total of... Oh, 974.70. We went down. So we are backing up about 65 kilometers on our road trip this week. And if we were just looking at this day by day or week by week, it'd be pretty easy to get deflated. But we're not deflated because we've been in business for a little while. And we know that some weeks are just reinvesting weeks. And this is Jazz from the Future saying that uh, there's always some good sales coming up. So we're going back pretty much to Sojuna where I've spent a lot of time and I don't mind spending some more. So I hope this video has given you guys a little bit of an insight into what our average week looks like here in the warehouse. I know we did jump around a little bit and we didn't really film us doing too much of the actual listing or drafting, but it is difficult to capture those. But I hope it shows how much work actually goes into building a business like this. So if you wanna take on something like this in the future, you know exactly what to expect. If it seemed a little bit uh, hectic and chaotic and like we're all over the place, that's only because it's hectic and chaotic and we're all over the place. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. We will probably see you in maybe a week's time, maybe two weeks time because we are headed to Retail Fest. But we do have one video on the bank where we headed up to Owen oh, for yeah. a town garage sale. So I'll try and get that one ready for you guys next week. Otherwise, we'll see you in two weeks time. Bye for now.